Hello, Dale here from Arc Hi-Fi. Pink Floyd recently released, for the first time, their entire catalog in 24-192 high-res. Is it a money grab? Last fall, without a lot of fanfare, Pink Floyd made available their entire catalog in 24-192 high-res files. Pink Floyd made these available to all the major streaming services and all the download, high-res download outlets like HD Tracks. I'll put a link to HD Tracks below. These are not new remasters, so to speak. They're basically the full remaster from 2011. When the 2011 remasters were done by James Guthrie, he remastered in 24192, and then they downsampled for CD release or for any other streaming needs. This is the full size files. Likewise, the flat transfer of those files before anybody got a hold of them to remaster were sent to Bernie Grumman for the 2016 vinyl LP releases. So, really, this is nothing new. Now I'm going to make it, we'll get right to the point here. If you want the absolute best sound quality that Pink Floyd has to offer with their catalog, get these high res releases. To me, they're just the absolute best. Super quiet. You may hear some tape hiss on some of the, uh, that was on the original um, tapes. Very balanced very smooth mids and highs it just sounds great the cds actually sound really good these files take them uh, just a, 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 a tad of a step further i can hear a little bit more air around the the highs just a tad bit more punch in the low end it is not going to be a night and day difference in my opinion animals is still going to sound like it was recorded in a shoebox but you'll get a sense of a, of a more freer type sound that seems just a little bit less restrictive. Now, if you threw these files on, playing in the background, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Or if you, if you use them on uh, low, low quality earbuds or what have you, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. So stick with the CDs. But if you have a nice halfway decent system and you like to sit down and really concentrate on what's coming through the speakers. These high res files will, will, will satisfy you quite a bit. Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here were, were released on Super Audio CDs with multi-track or with multi-channel files attached to them. But these are, sound better in my opinion. So I, if you're a big Pink Floyd fan and you want the very best, I suggest getting these files. Now, will they sound different than the various vinyl releases? Sure. Will they sound a little different than some of the other CD releases, like the Doug Sachs remasters from the 90s? Sure, they will. But at the end of the day, Pink Floyd really does not have a bad sounding record, especially from Dark Side of the Moon forward. Animals might be considered kind of a more or less high fidelity record in their catalog, but it still sounds decent. So I'm just going to sit here and tell you, get these files, they're great, and this will probably be the last time you'll ever need to upgrade your Pink Floyd catalog digitally. Now if you're a vinyl fan like me, of course there's different masterings. My favorite Dark Side of the Moon is the 19, or the 2003 Kevin Gray uh, anniversary mastering. It just has a little bit of a smoother texture of all the other remasterings. But you're not going to, like I said, you're not going to throw it on in the background and say, oh, that's the Kevin Gray remaster. Oh, that's the Bernie Grumman remaster or whatever. They all sound great. But to me, these high-res files are the absolute pinnacle of the Pink Floyd catalog, and I highly suggest you get them. So what's your take? Do you have a favorite version of a Pink Floyd album, either vinyl or digital? Uh, what do you think about high-res in general? Is it just the money grab where CDs or good enough. So put your comments below. Also hit like, subscribe, 
And we are also going to be introducing a Arc High Five Facebook group here in the near future. So I'll talk about that in upcoming videos. So hit subscribe, tell all your friends about us, put some comments below, and we will see you next week.